Yo, what's going on guys? Today, we have a surprise ticket. Surprise! With the new year of 2020, it just recently hit it for me as well, two hours ago. They decided to drop a surprise ticket, and with that surprise ticket, it's time for the surprise ticket recommendations. Now, this one would be a little bit special as I plan on doing a giveaway. Oh! Now, in order to enter this giveaway, you have to like, no, you don't have to do any of that. But um, one thing you do have to do is that you have to follow on Twitter. I know, just listen. You have to follow on Twitter and reply to my tweet with which character you plan on, or weapon, or summon you plan on surprise ticketing. And then I'll pick from my Twitter. You're probably asking why not YouTube? I want to start using Twitter more in 2020. And because of that, uh, I thought it'd be best to do it on Twitter. I'm going to tell uh, Twitch about the same thing uh, when I stream later today, but I just thought I'll mention it. Now, how many I'm giving away, I haven't decided yet. One is definite, um, two is maybe. It depends, but um, I'm definitely giving away one surprise ticket. I just haven't decided if I'm giving away two. So, just wanted to mention that to people. I'll have the tweet, uh, the tweet uh, pinned down below that you can reply to and follow and to tell me what you plan on getting if you do win. With that, let's go down to the surprise ticket. Now, I'm gonna try to emphasize the light units that you may want a surprise ticket for the upcoming GW, also Earth and Wind. If you're wondering why Earth and Wind, after light GW, there's a high chance it'll either be a Earth GW or a Wind GW. So I thought I'd mention a little bit more emphasis on those characters. But obvious picks, uh, obvious picks like Athena and Kalulu will be mentioned. So let's go down the list. Let's start with fire. You know what? Let's start with dark. I always start from fire to dark. Let's go from dark to fire. Now, Vashrog is actually maybe a good pick. Um, he is getting a rebalance in this month. Uh, if you have been looking at the NGBF news. However, he still, I don't have any time played with the rebalanced Vasharaga, so I can't really recommend a character just purely on their skills alone without some play time. He does look pretty decent though, but surprise getting him may have to wait, I personally think. At least give him his rebalance some time, see how people feel about it. Next we have Vera. Vera's like not really worth it. Bea not worth it. John the Ark. Her weapon is okay for um, sliming, but I wouldn't really surprise to get her unless you truly are like really new. Then I guess it's okay because one, she's very cute, and two, her weapon does have a lot of utility early on and even later on. So it's not an awful surprise to get. But in 2019, she's not as nearly as strong late game, but she's still really good early game. Vamp is a good surprise to get. Offering the spell, charm, delay, healing herself with drain, bonus damage, good for it. Fa, um, it's mainly Fa, ultimate Bahamut, it's not a bad target. Fates, whatever. Tanya, more of a solo Yubaha, a solo character, like Yubaha high level, Fa high level, Good, t a good pick for a, a full-fledged Dark Lord who really wants to tackle the harder raid solo. Forte not worth it, Zeta not worth it, Azel not worth it. Um, Kalulu is a god, not even just her, her weapons a god too. Definite solid pick, there's no more talking about her because it's like instant. Lady Grace, whatever, Wolf and Rene, whatever, Sarina, whatever, 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 whatever. Lunalu. Now Lunalu has seen a lot of use thanks to Six's five star. Very commonly used with Nier and the one turn Shiva comps. Yes, Hades Shiva, Celeste Shiva, very viable for majority of players. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this character. Uh, this character, not worth it. Nicholas, he's okay for far high level, but I wouldn't surprise to ticket him for it unless you're like really looking for a unit, but Six does as well as he does now. So it's kind of not worth it anymore. Light, we have John de Arc, very good for one turn EX plus. If you have a completed grid, she could be really used well for the charge bar game. Um, 
keep in mind that's more for people with completed Zeus grids. Uh, Magna does not have enough Ogi cap in order to utilize her skill two for instant killing. Albert's not that great. He was used in Foss, uh, Foss solo. He's okay, I guess, but I wouldn't try to get him. Cerule, not worth it. Fairy is a strike time god. Very strong character. However, she does require your grid to be at least near the completion level to really hit the damage cap on your bonus damage. Um, she doesn't really offer any damage buffs like Alanan, but what she does give is guaranteed TA and bonus damage, which is very strong. Baltorta, that's whatever. Rosa Mia is whatever. Silva is really good for EX Plus, giving about 900k damage to anywhere from 700k to 900k on a chain burst. It's really strong for EX Plus. Uh, this for the EX Plus ability is really strong. Charlotta, she's probably going to be the easy go to character for people with weaker grids. If you're looking to have a easier time in GW and get carried by a unit, this is the unit you're looking for. She will carry any grid. Bad, good, doesn't matter. So, there definitely a strong character for people who are newer. If you're really new and you're looking like I don't want to be suffering during GW, this is your ticket for easy GW. Gila Felix, whatever. Sarnas, whatever. Um, Juliet is whatever. Zoe, strong unit, good for proud plus, good for just tanking damage, good for far high level Yubaha good at anything that does damage to you and her buff is very strong on magna builds so she's definitely a solid pick and something i recommend not even just her but her weapon is also very viable so it's not something you'd be mad to get copies of later down the line at the gold moon roll with me your one turn god um free five million damage on ld on an ogi pretty good pretty good Dorothy and Claudius, whatever, these characters are whatever, they, they're okay, but they're more for like really end game players, and they're not really used anymore, thanks to Hell and Mal, so it's like, whatever. Sar is really good for one turn kills, if you're having a hard time one turning things, she can be a ticket for an extra, like, I think 1.4 mil, if not higher, from her Ogi damage and her counter, very, very good for EX+. Will she be good in Nightmare in the higher difficulties of Nightmare 100 and 150? Yet to be seen, but I do have faith that she can perform rather decently. Sophia is not worth it, Clarice is not worth it, and this character is not worth it. However, she's okay for people who are still doing the Zeno build at the main hand and you want a little bit of multi attack. She's not bad, but I wouldn't surprise to get her. Now we on the wind. Useless, 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 useless. Hellas is pretty good for bursting on overdrive. Very good in. Uh, she would really used in the up, uh, the last uh, what's it called, <laughs> proving grounds. So she's really good for the team overdrive assassins. It's not bad, but that's all you're really using her for. She's good for Titan as well. A solid pick for people with more completed builds as her damage. From the assassin it's not that high but still pretty good pick not worth it not worth it not worth it um not worth it korwa is actually korwa is still kind of worth it for a very new player let's say low rank 120s um you're not at that point where you're capping yet so you, her buffs can't actually benefit you but it's not worth it in the long term it's like it's like a quick gain early, but uh, long term it hurts you. So, Urius is a god for anything that's hard, but you need debuffs. Just fa, it doesn't matter what boss it is. If you need debuffs, you need your debuff guy. Morigna is more for completed endgame win players who really want to emphasize her buff, her perma buff, and then kill her off. Uh, not used for like the casual player or average player. Lennox, whatever, Timos, whatever, Skies, whatever, Stannis, whatever, 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 Fierce, whatever, Sellfire, whatever. If you're wondering why you why are you going so quickly through this, because if I don't, and if I go, if I give a reason why each character is not used, it would be like a, an hour long video. So I hope you can understand. I'm going to only emphasize the units that are important, and if they're not important, we move on. Siegfried. Now, Siegfried is like, 
he's okay for EX+. Um, he lost a lot of his power thanks to power creep, but he's still okay for EX+. Outside of that though, he's not that important anymore. Old man, um, he's more of a weapon ticket than a character ticket if you're like close to max limit breaking this weapon for the 7% damage cap. But other than that, not that important. Captains, whatever, Arlumeas, for people who don't have Alex and they really want to fail on Earth, that's not a bad ticket, but it's not like something I would really take it unless you like truly love Earth. It's hard, her weapon's okay too, but not really worth it. Rise it, whatever. Bal, I've seen used for solo, like Grand Order. He does have stackable defense down, I believe, and attack down. Um, I have no experience with Bal, so I can't really give you any recommendations on a character I have no experience with. Whatever. House Senate is a really easy damage cap unit where you can, even with a mediocre to bad grid, you can actually hit damage cap on this character. However, she does fall off late game. So if you're a, more of an early game player who wants to get an easy boost to your earth, she's a good pick for that. But once you start hitting end game, she's no longer used anymore. Nemone is not worth it. Vastrog is whatever. Um, I think Vastrog is okay for EX+, plus, but um, Earth EX+, plus, it's having Octo, it's good enough generally. Um, if you don't have Octo, Vastrog can be used, but just keep that in mind. Kalia Shroth got her buff recently. She's not bad. Um, surprise ticket, I don't know. I can't really say, I can't really recommend surprise ticketing this character, but if you really like her, like TM or your pedo or something like that, go ahead, bro. Dila Feel, if you really hate Casino, if you really truly hate Casino and you still want nothing to do with Casino, this is your ticket. Medusa's like whatever. Eustace is whatever. A is whatever. This character's whatever. Dante is a really great EX Plus character. It's an overall decent character. Um, I was surprised to get him. If he's in the same realm as Siegfried, I would argue that he's a little bit better than Siegfried, but um, same realm. Not worth it, not worth it. Sorry, it's not worth it. She's okay for far high level, but that's about it. And Yubaha. The Drassel is not worth it. Next, we're on to water, all tier. Still a solid water pick, but it's water, so best you can get. <laughs> he's not awful, but he's definitely fallen off in, uh, what, two years since his limit break. So he's okay, mainly for the charge bar gain, but his buffs aren't nearly as overpowering as they once was. Sarlata is used for the charge bar 5% back row. It's actually really good. I'm actually using it for light for my one turn. So if you have, if you ever in a situation when you need 5% charge bar, She's still used for that very niche scenario. It's mirrors whatever, it's got whatever, 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 whatever. Lily, great unit, fa high level, any content pretty much Lily excels. Not only she's a great debuffer, she comes with tons of defense, clarity, auto cast heal. Really, really good unit. Um, definitely a good pick. However, she's not a huge damage bonus to you. She does give you water attack up on her Ogi, but that's about it. Like you're not gonna be like, oh man, I, I take it Lily, I'm gonna do twice as much damage. No. Mackie's whatever, Silver's whatever, 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 what Yoda's okay, but um I wanna surprise get him. Um he's still good for one turn builds with dog, but I wouldn't surprise to get him unless you have the instant one turn click and you're lazy and you want an easy way to get through your Magnus. Then if that's what you're looking for, Yoda, Yoda's your guy. Yoda is definitely your guy. Now we're on a fire. Percival, whatever, whatever. Zeta's getting a full limit break. Now with Zeta getting a full limit break, she can become very, very good. Is she gonna become good? I don't know, but she can. <laughs> she can, it's a possibility. So I would keep her in your mind if you have nothing you want to surprise ticket. Her five star does leave space for her to become really strong. Also, I believe she's getting a rebalance as well, I think. So, or maybe that's the light Zeta, but um, she's getting a five star. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about the future. Lancelot and Vayne still pretty good for one turn kills. Not bad at all. EX plus mainly. 
Athena is great for any hard content. You take damage, team up Malice, Fa high level, that's packing a ton of protection, armor, damage reduction, um, not damage reduction, damage, Ellie switch. Um, good unit, not bad. Yule's very niche, can be used for people without Alanan, um, but it's a very niche unit. It's, it's more used for people who are really end game, but they just haven't had the time to make Alanan. Tabina is whatever. Subasa. Subasa is used for one turn EX plus. Um, he's like, he's usable. He's not bad, but you don't really need him. So it's really up to you if you if you want to make him. It depends. Magnifier probably needs him. Agni, not so much. I'll let you do in like the uh, prom grid. Then it's something different. Maga says whatever, 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 whatever. Um, this unit's okay, but he's more super endgame fire. So it's like, I don't recommend that to 90% of players. Clarice is whatever. Same thing with this character. Um, she's good, but she's really niche. Colossus is used for his weapon, and also a very good character for Bonito for one turn EX+. Plus probably would be optimal when they add 1 million more health maybe but uh not bad at all the same thing applies to Siegfried also having a really high nuke on his Ogi so these two characters right next to each other makes perfect sense that they both are EX plus units now we on the weapons the Randall worthless 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 taming sorry now this is for your really end game light players who don't feel Cosmos weapons enough cap up for them and they really want to take that extra step and just go above and beyond with the introduction of Noah's weapon it's actually not a bad pick Noah's weapon being a very good dagger you can get some really weird shenanigans with daggers now on light so this is for like the truly optimized light I have 12 to 20 something bars in light and I love this element, like Tokai levels of like, I love light, only light, nothing else matters. So that's what this weapon's for. Gisela, solid pick for high lander builds for dark. Easy access, but you very character gated. Do you have Zoe, Nier, Six, Kal Kalulu, um, BK, mainly Zoe, Nier, Zoe and Nier are the most important ones, um, but do you have these characters? Do you have other weapons invested in dark, like BK's weapon, Kalulu weapon? This is an easy pick for people who want to opt in and go into the Highlander build for dark. Very popular build, very accessible. Not a bad build at all. This weapon, I want to solo fire high level with like some really meme like Garuda bow grid. Other than that. Not worth it. Um, not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. This one is like I'm a Earth Lord. <laughs> this is the I'm a Earth Lord weapon. I want a ton of health. Like if you want to solo fire high level, that's what you need. The staff. I'm a Water Lord. That's it. <laughs> like I'm really invested into water, like really deep, and. I believe in this weapon. Not worth it, not worth it, not worth it. Fingers. I, I hate Prometheus. <laughs> that's that's what fingers are in 2020. Um, I just hate farming Prometheus at this point. So if you hate farming Prometheus and you wanna still wanna get that Amity grid, fingers still an option, but uh yeah. This weapon's whatever, whatever, whatever. Um th this weapon's for crit, earth, but kinda like eh. And then we have these two weapons where are eh. And now we go on the summons. Eh eh. I want a solo fa high level really bad, I guess, <laughs> for Vortex Dragon. Eh, 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 eh. I need a phalanx. I need a hundred percent damage cut and fa high level. For Athena. Apollo's eh. Odin's garbage. Oceanus garbage. O Oceanus is, I want to solo file high level with the meme with some big brain revive strat. 
um, side bell is whatever, and that's whatever. Godlike, um, this is a really good summon, and it's just about everywhere. It's not good in burst comps, but if you want to live, this is your summon. Now, surprise kicking it, it's it's more for people who eventually plan on soloing every raid in the game. If that's what your plan is in the future, this is your. If you want to get the head start, start taking in these. If you have most of the characters you like. Medusa's whatever, 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 whatever. Whatever. Bunkles. I'm going to just talk about all six of them. I am preparing for six dragons and I want a bunkle. It's pretty much what the bunkles are for. Um, they're only really good on Ellie and if you take a ton of damage. They can be used to push your damage to cap. But with the power creep of 2019 and 2020. You're generally near cap already, so the bunkles are just mainly for damage mitigation than a damage boost. Bony Toe, great. I'm lazy. I want to use water for everything. Magnas and just chill. Still a good pick. Worthless, worthless. Um, Ify, please don't give me anything about Test Cat. I don't care. Uh, worthless. Typhon, great summon. Good for Fog, good for Ultimate Bahamut, good for Bursting. Uh, it's a good summon overall, solid pick. If you don't have a full mid break Typhon, you may want to invest into that. The same thing applies to Thor. Good for your uh, mainly Bahamut high level host. Good for uh, Ubaha high level. Uh, not good in Fa though, but just mainly Bahamut high level and Ubaha high level. Nice Aphrodite. I did a video on this, but this is really end game ultra optimal light very niche you need a really stacked grid for it so not for the average player but it's usable no 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 this potential but i want to surprise to get it now no good summon definitely worth a surprise ticket usable at zero star gorilla the same thing applies um both of these summons are usable at zero star however gorilla requires you to have a friend full limit break so keep that in mind if you plan on using this at zero star you do need a friend full limit break. This summon, um, Hamsa, it's a good duck, solid dispel. If you need a dispel summon and you don't have Zeph, definitely a good pick for you. Whatever, 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 whatever. Demon Bream, not worth it. Don't do it. These summons, now, honestly, these summons are very very niche right now the crest summons uh the one that probably has the most important value right now is princess long g with caliostro um dogu is also viable with magasa but they are very very niche very niche so just keep that in man uh keep that in mind when you're looking to surprise to get these right now they're not ultra viable they're very niche. However, that can change in the future. Oh my God. 23 minutes of not stop talking. I got us. Oh, I was dying. Woo, free. Yeah. <clears throat> With that though, we're going to call this a video. Now, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. As for the um, giveaway, don't forget. It'll be in the, the, the uh, comments pinned. Click that link. Follow and just leave a comment on which you are going to surprise ticket if you win with that thanks for watching and um hopefully you guys are able to pick something you're happy with or pick nothing at all or you can win the giveaway who knows until then though bye